Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to implement pull to refresh in Flutter. So you can see over here, I have a demo app been created. So here is a list of items been shown and when I pull down, you can see a new item has been uh, created and it has been shown at the bottom of our screen. So this is just a simulation of real time data. For example, when I when a user want to refresh any new data for for example, if he is using a social media, then he will just uh, pull down to refresh new data or new post and the data the latest data will be shown on his field okay so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create pull to refresh in flutter so let's get started so now we are in our android studio ide and here is a flutter project been opened and you can see i have a scaffold widget with the app bar and a body it has a container okay so first of all we must add a dependency that will help us in implementing a pull to refresh so for that we'll go to pub specification.yaml file and under dependency section over here just add this library that is liquid pull to refresh and hit this pub get button to download this package as an external library for your android uh, flutter project sorry okay so now to use this uh, library you just need to import it wherever required so i will just import it in our uh, home main.dart page so liquid pull to refresh okay so just import it and you may you can make use of its uh, libraries classes and everything okay so first of all uh, i must i want to show a list of items uh, that will be refreshed when the user pull down the page okay so for that we must create a class uh, that will return us a list of uh, item so let's create it so let me create a new dart file over here and here i will just name it as refresh okay so we'll just name it like this and let's create a class and name it as refresh okay so here I'll, i will just initialize three variables which will be of type string and one date okay so one will be a id a text and a created time as we have shown in the demo of our project okay so just create a constructor for this variables so you can just go to generate constructor and select all these three and done okay and then this class will return us a list of items so what i will do is i will just create a static list which will be a type refresh data so here i will just give as data so it is a list we must initialize it as an array okay and then here i will just uh, give a initial data one data so refresh data first one will be zero id second string will be default and third one will be a date time. date time dot now yeah so our class has been created so let's use this in our main dot dart page okay so over here so let me remove this container and let me make use of list view dot builder build item count okay so the item count will come from the data the that is that exists in this class okay so for this to get the data we must create a variable that will hold our data from the list of items so let me create over here list refresh data data and let's initialize it as empty so we need to import this okay and inside init state we must add all the data to this list data dot add all refresh data like this and here let me pass the data that i have given over here this thing i'm just passing over here so first data is zero default and date time dot now so this will get added in this data uh, array of list okay so now we just need to show this over here okay so here uh, data dot length okay so item builder build context okay so here we just need to give a return type so return type will be of list tell okay so here in the list tell there are two properties that we are going to make use of one is leading with a circular avatar at the uh, left corner so here i'm just going to show us text that is the number of items so here what i can do is i can just give a message okay and the second item will be a title 
so title will be a text that will be that will come from this data okay so here we just need to initialize a variable refresh data data is equal to data of index so this data will be shown over here so it's data dot id okay and data dot text okay so let's refresh and check if it work okay so you can see the default item that i have given over here has been shown in our list of items okay so i just need to give a refresh to this and the new data should get added to this list itself okay so let's add that so for that here in the list view builder i want to just wrap it with a widget called as liquid Re, uh, pull to refresh okay so this is the library that we have added so here on refresh there is a property so when the user re on refresh that is when the user pull down the screen uh, this will work and this should add an item in this array of item okay so let's do it now so here so here what i will do is i will just create a variable created add and let me initialize it with date time dot now okay and this on refresh will return a future future dot delay duration okay for duration i will just set it as 500 milliseconds set state okay so inside data i want to add an item so inside data add refresh data so here i want to just add id text and created add so created add i can just pass this variable over here and the text i can give as some text so refreshed add particular hour minute seconds okay so here uh, created add dot hours and created add dot minute like this okay and the id we will just give item length okay so it will be data dot length okay so now let me refresh and check if it works so refreshed so i'm just pulling down so you can see a liquid pull down button uh, animation has been shown and you can see the item got added into the list okay so you can see so i just need to add seconds over here so let me add that also so let me refresh so you can see so this is how you can just implement a pull to refresh in your flutter application so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you